Hello everyone and welcome to Dishonored. So I know I said I didn't want to start any new playthroughs in my channel update video I did a few days ago, uh, but I really wanted to start this game, and this game is actually going to be taking place of Pokemon Crystal for a while. I may do a session or two of Pokemon Crystal, but this game is going to be taking its place. Uh, this isn't going to be the main game I'm focusing on, of course. I'll be trying to focus on Fallout 3 mainly. Uh, but I thought of the idea for this game, and it just really, it really excited me. I did, I did find it, uh, I did find that it'd be awesome to record this game because I actually really, really enjoy playing this game. So I figured, why not just go ahead and start the playthrough for it? Uh, it shouldn't be too hard for me to juggle doing this, Halo, and Fallout 3. I should be able to do all those three, hopefully, pretty well. But I wanted to start this game because uh, I really do enjoy this game. I thought it'd be awesome to play through it. So, without any further ado. Let's just go ahead and start this game, play on normal, turn the brightness up a little bit, and let's freaking do this. Pretty, pretty freaking excited. I love this game. Honestly, this game would probably might be in my top five games of all time. I just really, really enjoyed this game, so it's going to be pretty cool. We got a bit of a cutscene coming up here that has people talking, so I'll probably mute the commentary so you guys can hear what's going on. Corvo. If only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spy Master was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. All right, so I think that's all the dialogue that really happens right here. <laughs> but I don't know, I might have to do something about the sensitivity. It seems a little high for me. I don't know how I played this game on the sensitivities. It's kind of high. But I'm pretty stoked to start this, man. This is going to be pretty freaking great. <laughs> this game might up, end up getting more recorded than freaking like Fallout 3 just because like how much I enjoy this game. Which is good. It's good to start games that, in my opinion, that you're going to enjoy. I've made that mistake quite a few times starting games that I ended up not enjoying. Uh, I'm not going to be making that mistake anymore, so <laughs> this game will definitely be finished. Fallout 3 will eventually get finished, and so will Halo. Halo is going to take long, which, which is kind of weird because the game doesn't really seem like it's that long, but that game's going to actually end up taking quite a bit of time to do, so that's going to suck. But, uh, okay. We may have to do something about the sensitivity. This is kind of it's kind of too high for me. Let's check this out here. Let's go check out the uh, sensitivity for the freaking look sensitivity. It's turned down to 20. It might work. Okay, that seems a little bit better. So I haven't played this game in a month or so, so I'm not entirely. I don't remember really uh, how the controls work too much, but yeah, here we go. This is uh, this is Emily. Pretty big. Pretty essential to the actual storyline of the game here. So the hide and seek section that she just mentioned is actually kind of like a tutorial. So I'm probably just gonna skip out on that. I don't have, I don't really have to do a tutorial. All it really shows you is how to like, uh, you know, look side to side on walls and stuff like that. Basic stuff. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. They sent him all around the aisle to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. 
Like, already, if you've ever played Dishonored, you know what happens at this point, but already, things look a little bit sketchy around here, don't they? Things are a little bit sketchy. You got guards freaking staring me down, this guy over here. Freaking chilling. Right, let's, let's just get this over with. Beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, your majesty. Corvo. Two days early of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What Follow news me, have you Captain. brought? We should leave. Try not to talk over important dialogue, but I might I might actually end up talking over yeah, if I like this, I might end up talking over some important stuff, so I apologize. Very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Sensitivity still is a bit too high for me, but I don't know. You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait. Yeah, totally. And you see those guys running up here. <laughs> Alright, this is where the action starts to kick in a little bit. Uh, I already know how to attack. Okay, I already screwed it up. Alright, yeah. I already know how to block. I just had to get used to the controls again. What the frick is going on? There we go. That's pretty good. I mean, like, honestly, you just get framed so hard in this game. Like, you basically end up receiving all of the consequences for what other people have done. It's kind of screwed up, but I guess it makes for an interesting game. See, I want to, okay, watch this, and then I want to, like, I want to, like, say something. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? <laughs> Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Thank him. Okay, so first off. There were quite a few guards around already, right? They don't just guards just don't randomly leave their like freaking leader just chilling somewhere. That's not what happens, okay? Second off, like you would think that if there was a really serious situation, you hear gunshots. For God's sake, I shot a gun. You would think that the guards would run over there instead of just like taking like five minutes to get over there. Now it's just obviously it's a huge setup. That's the main storyline of the game. I feel like I've just spoiled it, although I'm playing through it. So I don't, I don't really know. So we're in Coldridge Prison, prison now. Oh, I almost, I did skip that. Well, that sucked. Nothing much really happened. I don't know what I just skipped, but this is what I remember. I don't remember there being anything before this, really. But all right, so we just woke up in a freaking prison cell. That's pretty cool. We got on as well as we got. We all start with innocence. But the world leads us to guilt. Got other stuff in here. You got a little... I can't even freaking read that. All right, I can't read that. Lovely toilet here. That's pretty cool. Got a rat. Awesome. So there's totally not a piece of paper on this. Whoa, there's a piece of paper and a key under that bread. That's crazy. Corvo, we are... Wh who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here's the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run, make for the river, and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck, we need you alive and well for what's to come, a friend. Yeah.